Okay, so it's been three weeks since uh, the perennial ryegrass has germinated. It's time to put down some 901 green start and some RGS and some other things. But to first, I want to go over why you really shouldn't do a spring renovation for cool season grasses. So overall, it doesn't look too bad, all right? Until you see things like this, or one of the biggest reasons why you don't want to do this in the spring is the dandelions and the clover, as you can see. But there's another reason. Yeah, never mind with that. The other reason is I have maple trees and these little suckers pop up all over the place in the springtime. Now it's hard to tell because I've kind of tried to fix this, but I also had some washout, as you can see, and it's struggling to come back. A little thin through here. Let me go around to uh, the other side here and show you where the real problem is okay over here on this side of the house where the, one of the reasons why I wanted to fix the grade was this was kind of high and this slope was really not quite right but uh, the day after it germinated I had a big storm and it washed a lot of stuff out from the house this way and so I have to fix all that the other problem here you can see more clover and I bet it's not just the clover that's the problem get over here where the actual issue is and again more washout more washout so the downside of doing this in the spring is you get spring storms and it washes this stuff out but here's the biggest concern I have here we go so not only all this clover would you look at that? See that? That's crabgrass coming up. This is why you don't want to do this in the spring. There's more washout up here I need to fix. Now I'm sure somebody's staring at their phone or staring at the computer and saying, that's why you use tenacity, you dummy. Guess what? I did. I'm not a fan of that stuff. I use it at seeding and that's it. Normally, I would not suggest and I would not normally put down tenacity again on new grass. I think it stunts the growth. I also don't like the way it turns everything white. And I don't think it's very effective post-emergent herbicide. But for three week old grass, what else am I going to use? I'm not going to let that crabgrass keep going. And I'm surely not just going to go pulling it because it is kind of scattered here and there and who knows where else it might come up so with the 901 and the rgs i'm going to have to do tenacity again as much as i don't want to um i'm going to hope that it works at least on the crabgrass the clover and the, the maple leaf suckers and, and all that those those i can live with those i can deal with the crabgrass i do not want that getting out of control all summer long and i know everybody hypes tenacity that it's a great pre-emergent for seeding well there's your example of a great pre-emergent while seeding it's not that great it works a little bit um, anyway I'll get off my soapbox on that I'm not a big fan of it I do have it I've used it there's nothing wrong with using it um, just remember there is a limit how much you can put down every year I'm not going to be anywhere near that limit but I'm going to put some in the application I'm going to do today and just kind of hope for the best okay for the uh, next step in the seeding overseeding package use 12 ounces of the 901 green start three ounces of the rgs and i'm going to add in a little bit of ck or seek some people are calling it this is a, a mostly seek help 
pushes root growth is going into the summer. It's kind of what I want to do, but I'm not going to do a full uh, application. Normally, you want to do either a half ounce or an ounce per thousand square feet. I'm going to put an ounce in 3,500 square feet. So I'm not going to push it too hard because it's new grass, but I do want to push some more, more root growth. Plus, there's some seed kelp already in the RGS, so I don't need to put a full application. But uh, let's get that poured in and get going. Okay, so I'm going to water that in, give it about five, six minutes, just get the uh, the green start and the RGS down into the soil. And then I'm going to try and let this dry out for several hours. Hopefully the sun sticks around um, and see about putting down the tenacity. Uh, I, I could spot spray it. However, the clover is kind of everywhere. Um, the crabgrass is kind of isolated. I, I'm still on the fence. I'll have to see what I'm going to do. Um, this is the downside of doing this stuff in the spring, folks. I said from day one, yes, I'm doing it. I had a very specific reason for doing it in the spring. And that was one thing and one thing only. It, the only way to kill Poa trivialis successfully with glyphosate is to do it while it's actively growing in the late winter, early spring. That's it. Other than that, if I had any other reason, I would never do this in the springtime. This is the thing you want to do for cool season lawns is in the fall. So this is one of the struggles. One of the many struggles and i said it was going to be a struggle so if you insist on doing this in the springtime keep your expectations realistic yes i'm a little disappointed but i knew it i knew it was coming i said it was coming i said i was going to have issues with weather i said i was going to have issues with germination taking whew, that was cold taking longer than normal i said i was going to have issues with weeds i'm going to have issues with the summer heat whenever it gets here uh, here in the Northwest, we don't get it as quickly as other parts of the country, but it, it's coming. So the other thing I may have to deal with is fungus. So far, I've seen a little bit of red thread here and there. Nothing I'm going to stress out about. So this is the struggle. But put this water in, come back in a couple hours and see if I make up my mind. Okay, well, after thinking about it, and walking the property a little bit more and doing what Alan Hain always teach, which is get to know your land. So I went around and walked it all a bit more. The spots with crabgrass, there was only like one square foot area. So I'm not going to put tenacity down on all this just for that. I can deal with the clover and the maple tree leaves and that uh, later. That's not a big deal. Just keep an eye on this one spot. Pull the crabgrass by hand and be done with it. So um, just not a fan of that stuff. I think it stunts the growth way too much. Maybe in the fall, I'll find something that works a little bit better and, and knock it out. Anyway, uh, I'm going to work on a, another video for this uh, bald spot, so stay tuned for that. And uh, if you found any value on this video, hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.